Hey, hey guys, today I am swatching and reviewing the Hollow Tucko 5th Anniversary Mixed Emotions Collection. Alright, so 2024 marked Hollow Taco's five year anniversary. Five years in business set is quite an achievement. So for this anniversary, they decided to go with thermal nail polishes. And I was pretty excited because I've never tried any thermal nail polishes unless they were when I was a child and I just do not remember. <laughs> I was both excited to try them in general and excited to see what Hollow Taco came out with in terms of thermals. This is Hollow Taco's first venture into the thermal nail polish landscape and in addition to the nail polish the box is also thermal or heat reactive I guess is maybe a better phrasing. <laughs> so yeah the box is heat reactive the stickers are also heat reactive and overall pretty stoked to just dive into it. So without further ado, let's get to swatching. <laughs> All right, first up is Rage Bait, one of the two pink polishes for this collection and the one that doesn't have like the flakes in it. So this is a coral in its cool state and a yellow tangerine in its warm state. It also has a little bit of scattered hollow and purple micro shimmer. So on the first coat, this one I feel like had the most dramatic effect for me when I put it on my nails, but I, <laughs> I was on the verge of getting sick when I was doing this swatch. So <laughs> I had a fever later that night. And so looking back on this, it's really funny to see just how like warm I was. <laughs> so here it is in its completely cold state. You can see it's a nice coral color and then in its warm state here a very yellowy orange. My favorite was kind of the in-between state for this one. It's a really nice uh, mango-y look. And next up is Deeply Superficial, the second pink polish of the collection. This one is a bright magenta peak pink in its cool state and a pale semi-translucent pink in its warm state and then obviously you can see it has multicolored iridescent flakes and another hint of scattered hollow also i'm only doing two coats for all of these swatches two coats for me felt like enough if i had longer nails maybe three coats um, but generally if i can get away with two coats then I'll do it. <laughs> also, I had more trouble with these brushes than in the past. Um, I know they changed the shape up at some point, but yeah, I don't <laughs> you can see me really struggling to fill that gap. In. <laughs> and here is the second coat. And then with Glossy Taco, all of these really benefited from, from Glossy Taco, obviously. Here it is in its completely cold state. Nice, bright, cute pink. And then in its warm state, very, very pale. And you can definitely see the translucent, so you can see my nail line in the warm state there. And then here it is, a little bit more natural, regular old lighting. <laughs> and then here they are together as a comparison. All right, getting into the purples. First one is Guilty Pleasure. This one is a purple in its cool state and a flamingo pink in its warm state. This one also has a hint of magenta shimmer and scattered hollow. You can see I kind of got over my <laughs> fever because I think I also turned up the AC because it is not <laughs> changing at all. It is staying completely in the cold state. <laughs> this dries down like really matte or I guess maybe satiny kind of. Um, so you'll see with the Glossy Taco, it, it helps, it really like helps it get the shine back. Yeah, I'd say satin. And then with Glossy Taco, bringing back the vibrancy. Cold state, I mean, most of it's been cold state. <laughs> and then a warm state, a very cute, flamingo pink as described <laughs> and here it is and again in natural lighting this one is also a very pleasing gradient between states 
And the next purple of the collection is Simply Chaotic. This is a dark purple, like grapey purple in its cool state and turquoise in its warm state. It also has blue turquoise and orange iridescent flakes. And spoiler alert, this is my favorite of the collection. <laughs> and it's simply because to me when you put enough polish on there, and I guess from a farther distance, the purple, when it starts to transition and do that nice gradient, the purple just looks so much like a navy to me. So it looks like two blues. So I really liked it. And I just like turquoise. <laughs> See, look at that. Look at that transition, that turquoise. Ooh, and the flakes. I feel like the flakes give this one a really nice dimension and depth to it. And here it is in its full purple glory cold state and it's lovely turquoise warm state <laughs> and then here i feel like this one i didn't have as much luck keeping it in its gradient form but obviously that's just you know temperature and then here are the purples together i like how they're both different in their warm state and to round us out is Funny Feeling. This is a turquoise in its cool state and a chartreuse yellow in its warm state. This also has a hint of green shimmer and scattered hollow. That hint of green shimmer, I feel like definitely gives it more of a kind of light, very pale light green effect. Maybe in addition to the base being blue or the cold state being blue together it kind of gives it more of a green look to me it <laughs> the coverage on these has been really nice also and again you can see that kind of satiny look before we put on the glossy taco <laughs> and then obviously here is the cold state we've been seeing it let's check out the warm state wow <laughs> You could definitely see my nail line underneath there. <laughs> and in more of a natural setting, this little gradient was kind of nice. Kind of a subtle gradient. And that's it. All right, and those are the swatches and my general review of each polish. Overall, initially, I was a little bit hesitant on this because it's, it's two pinks and two purples. And while I'm okay with pinks, purples I'm kind of like meh about, but because they change color due to the temperature, I figured it would be okay. And I was right. <laughs> this collection was at times kind of difficult to, to parse out what colors went with what, since some colors could also turn into other colors. Some colors in their warm state kind of resembled colors in their cold state <laughs> to round all that up. I tried on the pinks longer than I meant to because I was sick and so I spent a lot more time with those and I came to, to really like them. Initially I liked Rage Bait because of how it looks kind of sunsetty, mango-y, you know tropical-y vibes. I really liked that about it in its pure like yellow form. I was kind of like okay. <laughs> Uh, but I still appreciated the kind of general color scheme it could do. I really liked Deeply Superficial, and I also really liked it in its completely warm state. That very pale pink, especially with the flakes in it. Very cool. I do like blues, so I was looking forward to Funny Feeling, but because it also became kind of like a very pale, kind of limey green, I was kind of like, okay, it's okay. <laughs> The one that surprised me the most was Simply Chaotic because I'm not like going crazy for purples here. So I see a purple and I'm like, okay, it's a purple. But the blue it turns into is just so nice. And even more than that, when you have that blue next to that dark purple, the purple to me kind of started to read more navy so it felt like I had two blues instead of a blue and a purple on my nail at times and yeah that one simply chaotic is definitely my favorite of the bunch <laughs> in general I really like this collection I liked delving into thermal polishes and also I kind of didn't expect how neat it would be to see the gradient of the polish on my nails like I knew that that could happen but when it happened, I was pretty like 
amazed by it somehow. <laughs> you know how sometimes you just see something and you're like, oh, that's cool. And then you experience it and you're like, oh, okay, I get it now. I get it now. Like it was kind of really cool to have that gradient on my nails without really having to do anything. And it was also really cool to see how the swatches changed like per layer and also kind of a fun indicator to see if you're sick and about to run a fever. So, so yeah, I had a lot of fun with this collection. Let me know if you were able to snag this collection. Let me know what your favorite thermal polish from the collection was. And if there's any other like color combination you think would have been cool to try out. Otherwise, that's all I have for you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm doing a lot of hand gestures and I don't know why. And as always, thanks for being here. Bye.